Samoa, American Samoa, the Samoan Islands, maybe even German Samoa and Western Samoa, are names you've probably heard of but might be a little bit confused about. I'll start by saying that German Samoa and Western Samoa refer to the same area, that of Samoa. Samoa, the modern day country, used to be known as German Samoa between 1900 to 1914, when the area was controlled by Germany, hence the name. This territory was succeeded by the Western Samoa Trust Territory, which was the official title of the island when New Zealand, under the British Empire, took over the island during World War I. This title remained until Samoan independence in 1962, when the territory became known simply as Western Samoa. And then finally, in 1997, the government changed the name to just Samoa, as we know it today. Samoa is made up of several islands, although almost everyone lives on the two large islands of Upolu and Savai'i. It is an independent sovereign nation, part of the UN, with its own Samoan currency and a love for the sport of rugby. Samoa does not include American Samoa. Whilst they both share the same language, Samoan, they are two different territories, separated by 64 kilometers of ocean. While Samoa is an independent country, American Samoa is not, and is instead an unincorporated territory of the United States, similar of that to Puerto Rico. It is unincorporated in the sense that the US Constitution applies only partially, and citizens of American Samoa are although American nationals, not American citizens, unless one of their parents is. This means that as US nationals, American Samoans have the right to live in the US and can apply for US citizenship after three months of residency and taking a few tests. American Samoans also don't have the same voting rights as normal US citizens, so whilst the territory technically belongs to the US, they don't get all of the benefits that US states receive. The currency in American Samoa is the US dollar, and unlike their Samoan counterpart, rugby is not the main sport on the island, with American Samoans taking more of an interest in American football, with around 30 ethnic American Samoans playing in the NFL. One other major difference between the two island nations is the time zones in which they lie. Both used to observe UTC-11, as it helped them stay in touch with their main trading partner, the US. However, over time, Samoa grew closer to its continental cousins, and its main trading partners became Australia and New Zealand, but the time difference was making things difficult. So on the 29th of December 2011, Samoa skipped a day and went straight to the 31st of December, adjusting their time zone to UTC plus 13. American Samoa stuck with the same time zone because it still, understandably, has close ties with the US, meaning there is a full 24 hour time difference, 25 hours in the summer, between Samoa and American Samoa. So you have Samoa and American Samoa, and the term Samoan Islands refers to the islands that make up Samoa and American Samoa. However, it's not quite as simple as just that. Since the term Samoan Islands is a geographic term and not a political one, it's simply a name for this particular archipelago on which Samoa and American Samoa lie. However, American Samoa has land that doesn't fall within this island chain. Swains Island is located 372 kilometers north of the rest of American Samoa, and because of this, it is part of the Tokelau island chain and not the Samoan islands. Because of its location, Tokelau, the dependent island territory of New Zealand, claim that Swains Island belongs to them. However, it currently belongs to American Samoa and subsequently the US. This means that you would be technically incorrect if you said that the Samoan islands cover Samoa and American Samoa because of this tiny atoll 372 kilometers away. To summarize, German Samoa and Western Samoa are historic terms for Samoa, the modern day independent country. American Samoa is like Samoa's brother, located 64 kilometers away, but it isn't a country in itself, but a territory of the US that isn't treated the same as a US state. And both Samoa and most of American Samoa belong to the Samoan Islands Archipelago, the geographic name for the island chain apart from Swains Island, which belongs to American Samoa, but sits within the Tokelau archipelago.